What's up everyone, this is Cybernod, and today I'm going to open up the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Structure Deck Rocket Revolt. Yeah, I finally got the Structure Deck. I know I'm late. Uh, technically, this came out yesterday. It should be in stores everywhere today, by the way. But, yeah, I, I was supposed to get one from Konami. It's like lost. FedEx got rid of it, or I don't know what's going on. It's somewhere. It's like uh, in Chicago, I think, right now or something. So hopefully I'll get that one eventually. And I, I had trouble getting this everywhere. Like even, you know, certain stores and have them stock and everything. It, it's it's just like with any structure deck, there's some kind of curse with me and not being able to get them on time. It doesn't matter what I do. We don't even stock them around here, evidently, <laughs> until it's later on. But I finally got one, of course. It's from Big and Collectibles. Check them out. Link in the description. And yeah, I mean, this structure deck I've been looking forward to because rocket monsters are awesome. I've been, you know, really excited about this. The new Topologic Link monster is great. And honestly, for the reprints that you're getting out of this, it's a good value. It's $10 for the structure deck, and you already are guaranteed Warlord Dragon. There you go. I mean, that's worth it in itself. Warlord was like a $30, $40 card not terribly long ago. And even before this came out, it was still like a $10 card. So getting this is instantly, you know, that's worth it. And there's a lot of other good reprints too. So let's go on ahead, open it up, and uh, show you guys the cards. Because, I mean, seriously, Konami has been doing well with structure decks. I mean, I don't always agree with everything, but structure decks, they're hitting those out of the park. Like, seriously, I've been really impressed with that, and I hope it continues. Because the last couple ones have been worth it. You can buy, like, three of them and build a good deck of cards. So first off, you have your beginner's guide. Um, this deck might not be the best, though, for someone that doesn't understand Yu-Gi-Oh! at all, just because you do have multiple forms of summoning with this. I mean, it has the possibility of synchro summoning, but with the deck itself, you have a fusion monster and you have link monsters. So, it might be too much to take in. If you have no idea how to play, maybe go with the starter deck. But if you have a good idea, then yeah, this you could buy three of these and build a, a competitive deck. So... It's just kind of one of those things. I know there's so many forms of, of summoning with Yu-Gi-Oh! these days. I know that can scare new players. <laughs> so it might be a little too much at the beginning. I don't know. It just depends how you feel on it. If you want a challenge, sure. There you go. <laughs> it is a good deck of cards, though. So again, you could buy three and actually build something. Which, by the way, let me know if you guys would like to see a $30 deck profile where I buy three of these and, uh, and build a deck. I know other people have already done that. I've seen several people doing videos on it already. But again, I'm late to the party. So... Forgive me on that. <laughs> I feel I feel terrible when that happens. I feel like I let you guys down on it. But better late than never, I guess, too, right? There we go. Okay. I got through that plastic. And uh, first off, we have our brand new Topologic, which is Topologic Zero Boros. This card's awesome. I mean, seriously, it's another great Topologic. I mean, most of them have been amazing, obviously. And <laughs> yeah, this this card pretty much by itself, I feel like, is uh, makes it worth getting the Structure Deck, honestly. So... That's a great new card, and I think we'll see this card definitely around in the meta. Then uh, we also have Borlo Furious Dragon. So we actually have a fusion for Borlo now. So we started from Link, got a Synchro XC, and now Fusion. So this card is awesome. It even has its own themed polymerization in this deck, too, that we'll get to here in a little bit. But I I'm excited that we finally have that in English. Then we have Quad Boral Dragon, another ultra you're getting from this. A good Link monster and just added support for the rockets and Boral monsters. So, obviously comes in handy. I like it too because he's like a sawn off shotgun. He just looks awesome. I know. I'm a Texan, so I guess, you know, shotgun. There you go. <laughs> then we also have Silver Rocket Dragon. This is another one that will help you get any card that you need. It's kind of like one of those setup cards. Something that Rocket's kind of needed. And, uh, yeah, it's another good new card. And also a super rare have uh, Rocket Tracer. This is actually a new uh, tuner monster. Help you go for Borload Savage Dragon, of course. Only thing is Borload Savage Dragon is not in the structure deck, so that might be the only pricey card if you're building rockets, by the way. Uh, I wish it was reprinted in this, though, too, because that would have really saved a lot of money. But, uh, yeah, still good to have a tuner monster there as well. Then we have Abso Router Dragon, another new monster for us, and, again, it's useful for rockets. I mean, plain and simple. You're getting that support you need. We also have Zero Day uh, Blaster. I like this card because you get rid of a Link Monster, and then uh, whatever that Link rating is, for example, if it's four, you get to destroy that many cards. So this, you could just wipe out your opponent with this, or destroy some of your own even, or whatever you want to do. So I like that card. Then afterwards, we just have, you know, a ton of the Rocket Monsters. A lot of reprints and stuff, too. So Rocket Recharger, Exploder Rocket, and yeah, you're just going through all of them. You're getting like one of each to make them much easier to hunt down for you. Even Rocket Synchron, Gateway Dragon, which is kind of like one of the Rocket Monsters, basically. Same with Defrag Dragon. 
Labyrinth is one of the reprints, which is actually kind of a cool reprint, by the way. Even got some of the Felgrand cards, Keeper of the Shrine, uh, World Chalice Guard Dragon, another one that is a pretty good reprint from this, actually. Then, uh, after that, we have Boral Supplier. That's another one of our new cards, New Continuous. And this is the one I was talking about, too. This is uh, Rapid Trigger. It's uh, a polymerization that is for rockets. You know, it's a themed one, because not only are you fusing with the, the monsters that you choose, it actually destroys them. So, you're getting the effects of the rockets, plus you're going to be able to fuse them together. So, it is a really good themed polymerization, technically, for them. It makes it a lot easier to go for that fusion, quick play, and all that, too. So, yeah, I really like it for that reason. That is a really good new card. Then, a Squib Draw and Quick Launch, those were secret rares, so they're much easier to get now. They've always been kind of cheap, but they kind of rose up because of this. Uh, we even got the Field Spell, that was a good reprint. Dragon Shrine, always good. Uh, Return of the Dragon Lords, again, always good reprint. Like, seriously, this card, I, don't, I hadn't checked on it in a while, but I know there for a while it was always worth like $10 by itself. And you're guaranteed to get one. So, yeah, that's worth it. <laughs> that's easily worth it. Twin Twisters, kind of the same thing on that. Then Red Reboot. Anything else? Um, Mirror Force, that's always good. I mean, there you go. Magic Cylinder and Imperial Order. And then, yeah, here we go. We actually have our Borlo Dragon. It looks so weird as a common, but this is like the best reprint, obviously, from the Structure Deck. Again, this is the reason to buy the Structure Deck. If you don't even have any interest in Rockets or whatever for any reason... This is worth it. I mean, you've got to buy at least one of these if you don't have Warload because it makes it so much cheaper for budget players, which is great. It's one of the best Link monsters in the game, and yeah, <laughs> there you go. I mean, honestly, it's worth, like I said, picking up one of these just for this card if you don't have one already. Then also you have Triple Burst Dragon, another card that's been kind of pricey. So yeah, it's good they reprinted it as well. And then uh, Booster Dragon, which I think was in dual power. So even kind of a quick reprint of that, just in case it's a little tough to hunt down. Then also our Duel Links uh, advertisement. But, uh, yeah. I mean, honestly, this is a really good structure deck. Again, even if you have no interest in Rockets, a lot of these reprints are worth it in themselves. I mean, the Link monsters you're getting and everything are really good. And then, of course, like I said, Return of the Dragons. Then you also have Dragon Shrine and all that, too. Yeah, it's definitely a good structure deck. And the reprints, they're killing it with the reprints. So I recommend picking this one up. Let me know what you guys think. And of course, too, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, ring that bell so you don't miss out on future content. And uh, yeah, again, just let me know if you want to see a budget build or even a competitive build uh, for a future video. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.